Hello, a very good day to you. My name is Sister Temi Tayo, and I'm here once again to share the Open Heavens Daily Devotional with you. Now, the Open Heavens Daily Devotional that I'm sharing is this one that is compiled by the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboye. Now, if you're visiting my channel for the very first time, or if you know me personally, you may be asking us, Sister Tayo, why are you sharing this particular daily devotional? Why not another one? Because we have many great Christian daily devotionals in the body of Christ, many great Christian books. Why have I chosen to share this one? Well, the reason I'm sharing this particular daily devotional is because as I prepared to, to enter into the year 2020, which was two years ago, the Spirit of the Lord instructed me to begin to share this particular daily devotional on YouTube to be very specific. I was able to start that assignment in the month of June 2020. So I shared this devotional not only in the year 2020 and 2021, but I've also resumed sharing from this month, 2022, July 2022, as the Spirit of God instructed me. Now, all those videos are loaded on my YouTube channel. My handle on YouTube is Temi Agedo. Temi Agedo. And I encourage you to view the videos. You will definitely come across topics that appeal to your spirit. And when you listen, you'll be mightily blessed because it's the word of God. Amen. Now, how did I get to know Pastor Adeboye? Pastor Adeboye led me to Christ in October 1997, many years ago, when I was an undergraduate in the University of Lagos in Nigeria and West Africa. And Pastor Adeboye's style of teaching is that he'll give you a few scriptures from the Bible. He'll give you a memory verse. When you combine those two pieces of scripture, it helps you to understand the body of the text and what the Spirit of God is saying to the person who's reading the daily devotional on that particular day. I always say that a daily devotional is a great study tool. And what it does is like it stirs up your appetite for the Word of God. But as Christians, we must still... Um, Look into the perfect law of liberty on a daily basis. The Bible says that, you know, um, the Berean Christians, they search the scriptures daily to find out if what Paul told them was true. Now, because of our busy life, lifestyle, busy schedules, some of us are so busy, you know, but the Spirit of God helps us to be able to build that, that habit, that spiritual habit of studying God's word every day. Amen. So let's go straight into the daily devotional. Thank God it's Friday. Today's Friday, September the 2nd. Happy New Month again. And the title of today's daily devotional is Don't Miss Your Purpose. Don't Miss Your Purpose. And the scriptural reading is taken from the book of Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 8. Four verses. Don't Miss Your Purpose. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 8. I'm going to read from the traditional King James, because I'm going to explain. I know King James can be complicated sometimes, but I'm going to explain. The book of Proverbs, written majorly by Solomon, verses 5 to 8. And thus goes the reading of God's word. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It shall be held to thy navel and marrow to thy bones now if you come to church reg regularly you know this verse that says trust in the lord with all your heart lean not unto your own understanding in all our ways we shall acknowledge him and he'll make our paths straight sometimes we do something looks good and we just go ahead and do it all because it's good then it has to be god god must want it but no it's not always so it's always good to ask the lord and say this is what i want to do is it okay shall i go ahead and sometimes you'll be shocked you know um, what God will say, because God knows the end from the beginning. The memory verse is taken from Proverbs chapter 14, verses 12. There's a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. There's a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. You may be thinking, oh, I want to bring um, somebody from your family to come and stay with you. Before you do that, you know, speak to the Lord about it, even though it's a great idea. And having them in, their, in your house, you know, this is just an example, will greatly help you. But speak to the Lord about it first. Because um, there's a way that seems right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. You know, hallelujah. Trust in God. Now, the reading, the, the daily devotional goes thus. Many people have lost their purpose, the purpose of God for their lives. They are living below God's standard and expectation for their lives. There is a method by which God operates. But as long as people keep choosing to do things in a worldly manner, they will never achieve the purpose of God for their lives. Isaiah 55 verse 8 says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, hear the Lord. Hallelujah. So, and the first example that can come to mind is marriage. You know, who you marry determines if you fulfill your purpose or not. 
you know you can be walking in the path of righteousness and you marry the wrong person and that's the end of your entire minute that's the end of your entire destiny you know so you've got to be very careful you know so he looks nice he's in church he looks really really good he's a minister of the gospel she is a minister in the choir she looks really nice you've been dating her for so many years and um you know you just feel this is it you know talk to the lord about it and say commit her him and say lord this person is it the coming one or should i wait for another one uh, or for another you know just because you feel good about it doesn't mean that it is um god you want to travel it's you know the door is open you have a visa that doesn't mean that god wants you to travel god may prefer you to remain in a third world country that may be your purpose do you get so you need to ask God. Not every open door is God's door. Some are traps in these guys. Just because you have a visa doesn't mean that God wants you to travel out. Be careful. Don't miss your purpose. God does not think like man thinks. In fact, the Bible says his foolishness is wiser than men. 1 Corinthians 1.25 You cannot achieve his purpose by trying to do things with worldly wisdom. You will end up missing it. Don't try to copy others. Copy the one who called you. Jesus, Jesus achieved his purpose. For coming to earth because he said in john 5 19 verily verily i say unto you the son can do nothing of himself but what he see the father do for what things soever he doeth this also doeth the son likewise you know so god does not think like man thinks you know man look at on the outside but god searches the heart do you get so be very careful ah it takes the spirit of god and that's why we have to stay close to god in fellowship you know listen to the word of god attend meetings pray in the holy spirit be very careful i pray that the counsel of ahito fell in our ears will become foolishness in jesus name amen you know um don't copy just because every girl or every girl has gone to buy the bone straight doesn't mean that you should buy it not that that can destroy your purpose you never know but just because everybody's doing something doesn't mean you should do it we're different you know i'm an original not a photo photocopy some people want to preach like elijah they want to be another elijah and call down fire from heaven <laughs> that may not be your purpose god has already had one elijah he doesn't want another one i can assure you <laughs> you know um so but jesus christ copied the father and jesus christ is my example jesus christ is your example so we do things we do whatsoever jesus christ tells us we do whatsoever the word tells us as many as are led by the spirit of god they are the sons of god that, that's why it's god who is who must lead you the lord is our shepherd okay let the spirit of god are we copy jesus christ not anybody else hallelujah for young ministers of the gospel pastor says don't try to do things the way you've seen other popular ministers do things your calling is not the same as theirs when i was in younger in ministry there were people whose sermons were very mesmerizing as interesting as these sermons were, I stayed put to the way God had taught me to preach. By his grace, people's lives were transformed and the church grew. For those who were teaching deep theology, at the end of the sermon, when you ask the people what they learned, they would just say, oh, pastor was on fire today. Oh. There was no, but there was no real change in, in the lives of the people. My beloved, don't follow the crowd. Hebrews 12, 2 says, oh, we should look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith you pray to the father in the name of just stay close to the spirit of god and to the word of god don't copy other people pastor has given an example that when he was a young minister you know so many people used to do the hebrew and um the greek you know they were following copying other people do you get of course you can learn things from other people they can inspire you maybe you, there's a minister who prays you know five hours and you want to that's a good target to set you know you can pray that way you know but you are an original, you know, um, we look up to Jesus Christ. Let God lead you as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Pastor said, but that was not how God taught him how to pray. Do you get? That was not how the way, that's not the way God taught him how to pray. Amen. You, somebody, you know, started a fellowship. Doesn't mean that you should do the same. Maybe God is calling you to, into an evangelistic office. Let the Spirit of God who called you lead you. Amen. And Paul said when, when um, God called him, he did not immediately confer with flesh and blood. But he went first to the, to, the, uh, to the wilderness in Arabia and stayed with God. He did not immediately confer with flesh and blood. 
you know he said that god sent peter to the gentiles but god uh, to the to the jews to the circumcised but his own ministry was to the uncircumcised he didn't follow anybody he did exactly what god told him to do i see some music ministers they start very well singing great spiritual songs that attract the spirit of god but then they move on to those that will move the crowd and if you notice their ministries begin to go down from there on be wise if you want to have a long lasting impact and eventually fulfill your destiny do everything god's way and not the way the world does it sometimes you're not even doing the things that the world do you're just um, copying another minister and be behold you're different Maybe God wants you to sing in a particular, to, your ministry is to sing in a particular language. Stay where God puts you, okay? Stay where God puts you. Don't try to be somebody else. The, um, God said, Adam, where are thou? Where is the man that I created? You know, I can't see Michael Jackson, but I can't see the man I created. You know, remain in the calling into which God has called you. Praise God. Look up to Jesus. Do everything God's way and not the way the world does it. I remember... A, mini, a music minister, a very, very popular music minister. And um, this record label, some people said, you know, we'll sponsor you, would would you get you a very good record label, something like that. But, you know, just try and remove the name of Jesus. You put everything in Jesus, just try and re reduce it. You know, that's, you know, starts your, you saw your, 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 Bible, your uh, album will sell more. And he refused. May we refuse the counsel of the wicked. I always pray that the counsel of Ahitophel will become foolishness in my ears. In Jesus' name, let us pray. Father, give me the grace to never follow the world's wisdom, but your way always. In Jesus' name. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for your word. Please help us, Holy Spirit, to remain in the calling into which God has called us in the name of Jesus Christ. Help us not to look at man. Help us not to be distracted, but help us to look up to Jesus Christ, the author and the finisher of our faith. Help us to trust in God with all our heart and help us never to lean on our own understanding in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help us, Almighty God, to fulfill the calling of God upon our lives in the way God wants us to fulfill it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we receive grace, Almighty God. We ask that you pour out upon us the spirit of grace and supplication that we may be able to pray even more, pray more until the will of God is clear before us in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you and we glorify you. Thank you for the calling. Thank you for the assignment. By the Spirit of the Lord, we'll fulfill our ministries in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope this blessed you. Thank you so much for listening to me today. My name is Sister Temi, and while you're on my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Tap the notification bell, and the Lord bless you. Please share this on your social media platforms. This is a form of evangelism, and I know that God will bless you as you do. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe while you're on my channel. God bless you.